What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 August comic block. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, I can't wait for this month to end so we can stop getting Suicide Squad items. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. All right, here we go. The first item that we got is this Suicide Squad hat. It's a snapback. On the back it says, what does it say? I can't tell. It says, in squad we trust. That's in red font. This is a licensed product, so that's cool. Oh, and look, on the bill it has a picture of the Suicide Squad. Enchantress is so, I can't say her name. She's so creepy, so creepy. Okay, so we have this hat. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know how many people would actually wear this, but it's a cool hat. And then before we do the shirt, let's do all the comics that we got. So, the first comic that we got, oh, they're all part of the DC Universe Rebirth series, so all, all three of them. So the first one we got is DC Universe Rebirth Harley Quinn, and I think this is, I don't know, it has a one here, so I don't know if that means that this is, like, volume one or something like that. I don't know. But we have a Harley Quinn comic listed at $2.99, and this is, you know, Full page, colored with tons and tons of ads. Now, this is listed at $2.99. This is not a comic block exclusive because it's not listed anywhere. Now, the next one that we have is a comic block exclusive. This is DC Universe Rebirth uh, Suicide Squad. I guess this also is, what am I thinking? Like volume one? Not episode one, issue number one. Um, but this is Suicide Squad and this is a comic block exclusive. So we've got that going on. And then the next one that we got is DC Universe Rebirth Harley Quinn. This is issue number two. And this one has Batman on the cover. He's tied up with a bow. Okay. And then we have our shirts. This is, this is weird. Why would they do this? Okay. So you give us all DC comic things, which is great. And then you give me a shirt that's Marvel? I mean, I like it because I, I prefer Marvel over DC, but that's odd. Anyways, this is a Marvel shirt. It's a Marvel Nerd Block exclusive. So this is a Gildan Heavy Cotton Men's Medium. The shirt is black. Ugh, it's a Guardians of the Galaxy shirt. How odd. How random is that? So this is a Guardians of the Galaxy shirt. It has Star-Lord, Rocket, Ganora, you have Drax, and you have Groot. I like the design, I think. It's kind of hard to even see them in the design, to be honest. And I... Guardians of the Galaxy is like one of the Marvel movies that I just... I didn't like that one um, as much as I probably could. So I wish that this was like... Like if this was like Avenger themed, I'd be I'd love this. But since it's it's Guardians of the Galaxy, it's okay. I'll still wear it and I still like it. It's just not my favorite. But I'm really confused because it's so odd that they gave me like just Guardians of the Galaxy in general is kind of odd. But the fact that they gave me a Marvel shirt with all DC comic stuff is kind of weird to me. <sighs> Anyways, next month we're gonna have a Wolverine item, and then apparently something comic block related. <laughs> weird. Here's our shirt block ad and then we got another puzzle piece which I will go ahead. I'm going to post this one on Twitter. So after this video I'll post a picture of that on Twitter so you can check that out. You won't even see this because I'm going to do it before I post this video. So anyways let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. All right here we go. The first one that we have is our Suicide Squad snapback hat. I'm going to give this $10. It's not the best quality. So if you were to feel this hat, we've received hats that are way better quality than this. Um, this one's pretty thin. So I think $10 is, is fine for that. We had our shirt punch credit, which I'm not going to give anything. We had, so we have our three comics. We have Car Harley Quinn issues one and two right here. And then we had our Suicide Squad issue variant right here. So these are all priced at $2.99. 
You guys have said, oh, well, if it's a variant, it should get more. So this one is a variant. It's a comic block at variant. I think that this logo decreases the value to be 100% honest. But I'll go ahead and give that, I mean, what do you guys want me to give it? Like, a lot more? I don't want to give it that much more. Maybe I'll give it, instead of $2.99, I'll give it $3.99. I think that's overpriced, but let's go for it. These are each $3, so we'll give $3 each. And then we have our shirts. We have our exclusive Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy shirt, and that's going to get $10. Such an odd item. All right, according to my pricing, this box is worth $30. I pay $28 for it, so I got $2 extra value on top of what I paid for. This box was uh, disappointing. It was disappointing for me. It was disappointing because it didn't hit very good value whatsoever, and it just seemed, I don't know, it just seemed like such a weird jumbled box to me. I don't know. I, it's hard to explain, and you know, I'm not a DC fan too, so that's not helping the cause, and I'm also not a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, so it's like really bad for me, but if if I had to rate this box, I would probably give it, I would probably just give this box a, a 3.25 out of 5 noobs. It barely got its value. I didn't like the items because I don't like DC and I don't like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's weird to me that they had all DC items and then they threw in a, a Guardians of the Galaxy shirt. That was a little bit odd for me. Yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of this month's box. I think they could have definitely done better and I'm over Suicide Squad. I can't wait till they we get past this. This is like... This is like in, in, in October when you get all the Halloween boxes and it's like, oh, I don't want these anymore. It's like that. But anyways, if you're a DC fan, I can imagine you giving a little bit more, but at the end of the day, the value is just not there. I'm really disappointed with the value for this box. I, that's It's surprising from NerdBlock to have that bad a value because they're such a big company and they're able to get such good distribution. I'm surprised that they couldn't do a little bit better in this box. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe if you would like to. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Even for you guys who are hardcore DC fans or if you're hardcore Suicide Squad fans, what did you think of this box? Like, I know there's gonna be some bias on your end because you like the items, but I'm telling you that value is just terrible. It's weird. I'm like, I'm really surprised that the value is so bad, but let me know what you guys thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.